Y'all, it has been more than 30 years since Suge Knight and Diddy started beefing. And it doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon because Suge Knight just dropped some spicy tea on Diddy that proves that he still hates Diddy more than ever. Y'all know how there have been reports and rumors that Diddy is secretly working for the feds and is an informant for them? Well, not only did Suge Knight snitch on Diddy, but he also dropped some exclusive tea on how long Diddy has been working with the feds and even how much he got paid by the feds to be a snitch. Girls and boys, you need to hold on to your lace fronts for this because things are about to start making a lot of sense. Now, to provide some historical context to this insane beef, Suge and Diddy have been ops for 30 years due to their long-standing rivalry. Their feud traces back to the infamous East Coast versus West Coast conflict that had the rap industry in a chokehold for years. And boy, did it get messy. Suge owned Death Row Records with Tupac Shakur as his star artist, while Diddy owned Bad Boy Records with Biggie Smalls as his star artist. The messy relationship between Tupac and Biggie was widely known, which wasn't surprising given the feud between Death Row and Bad Boy. This animosity has fueled speculation that Diddy allegedly plotted Tupac's assassination to eliminate the competition. While I'm not saying for sure that Diddy was 100% involved in Tupac's murder, recent revelations from Keefe D, who was arrested in connection to the crime, allege that Diddy ordered the hit and even provided the promised $1 million reward to the perpetrator. Well, the story that has circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money I heard to, to Zip. Yes. And Zip was supposed to give the money to, to Keefe and that. Yes. But he never gave the money to But him. thank God he never gave him the money, right? Think about it. If he gave the money, Puffy would be in prison now, money for hire. For hire. So thank God. If, if, if this is a true story. I, I'm not saying yes or no. But if he would have gave him them the money, it'd have been um for hire and Puffy be locked up. Keefe even revealed that the FBI was able to trace the money, confirming that Diddy paid it out, but it didn't get to Keefe. Uh, the FBI said it was just Zip. Uh, so the FBI told you the same thing. The dirty motherfucker, yeah. So the FBI told you the Zip kept that money as well. They said Zip's the dirty motherfucker. Everybody cross you. Now, Keefe didn't straight up confess to offing Pac on Diddy's say so, cause that'd be like admitting to the crime. And he would have gone to jail for it because there is no statute of limitations on murder. But let's be real, when he revealed that Diddy paid out the cash, it's pretty much saying it loud and clear, right? I mean, dropping a $1 million bounty back in 96, if Diddy really did put that bounty on Tupac's head, then he really wanted Tupac gone. Because $1 million in 1996 was just insane. After Tupac passed away, Death Row Records pretty much came crashing down, and Suge Knight took a hit for it. He has never gotten over this, and it explains why he hates Diddy so much. Ever since Diddy got exposed, Suge has been going over and beyond to expose Diddy even more. He has been in jail for the past couple of years, but that hasn't stopped him from snitching on Diddy. So y'all know, he's really committed to hating Diddy. Before his recent revelations about Diddy being a fed, he once told us about how Diddy allegedly put paws on his assistant Capricorn because she hid Cassie's relationship with Kid Cudi and Diddy got furious. Like, it's not new, it's not like it's uh, new news. Same time he beat out of and uh, what's the little girl name? Uh, Cassie or whatever. He had an assistant by the name of Capricorn. He felt Capricorn, Cap was keeping it on a low about if she was messing with Cuddy or not. Puffy beat out that. If you're wondering why Capricorn would cover for Cassie and risk her own safety, it's because Capricorn is Lauren London's sister. Lauren and Cassie used to be friends back in the day, and I guess Capricorn was just trying to look out for her sister's friend, but it blew up in her face. Now, Suge wasn't capping, because after Cassie filed her lawsuit, Capricorn shaded Diddy, saying, don't take the path of the wicked, don't follow those who do evil, stay away from that path, don't even go near it, turn around and go another way. Proverbs 4.14, doors be unlocked, you gotta be willing to walk away from the money. Full stop. 2011 was hell. Capricorn left Bad Boy after that whole ordeal, but none of us knew about the real situation until when Suge spilled the tea. Back then, Diddy was going around saying she got fired for stealing from him, which ruined her career and life because nobody wanted to take her on as an assistant after that mess. Can you imagine being roughed up by your boss only to have him ruin your career on top of that? Yikes. Suge also exposed Interscope Records for paying Capricorn off so that Diddy wouldn't go to jail. It was an Interscope person, the Interscope's check that paid her to settle 
or he wouldn't go to jail. Capricorn also said, black women end up being the sacrifice for the effery. Last 11 years of my life, I had to deal with everyone's nonsensical allegiance to the devil. I pray that ends. I don't think highly of any of you. Can't keep your head down and pretend it's just cool no more. Do better. She then hinted that he had taken out Kim Porter because Kim was against his way of life. She shared a quote that Kim had said to her saying, they will skin you and wear you, baby girl. Then pretend they never wanted the skin. Kim was the only person who didn't switch up. The only one. Dark times. I'm personally very triggered. I pray it's over. I never deserved this. Hashtag RIP Kim Porter. Child, what a mess. Now, after all this, you think that Diddy would face some charges or something like that. I mean, Homeland Security even made a big show of raiding his houses in March, but it has been crickets from them ever since. Even when that video leaked of Diddy putting paws on Cassie, the authorities never took any action. The LAPD released a statement saying that we are aware of the video that has been circulating online, allegedly depicting Sean Combs hurting a young woman in Los Angeles. We find the images extremely disturbing and difficult to watch. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of a can be prosecuted. Well, word on the street is that he seems to be getting away with his crimes because he is a secret informant for the feds. And Kanye was the first one to spill the tea on this. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these are you fake hard? Wait, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you fake hard? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll get because you can't by anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So, about me, now let me say it calm. You know about. <laughs> about Michael. Right. So Kanye's been trying to warn us about Diddy for a minute, but we really didn't pay attention. It was around the time that Hollywood started pushing the narrative that Kanye was nuts, saying he didn't know what he was talking about and stuff like that. The fact that they put so much effort into discrediting him should have been a major red flag, but we didn't realize how spot on he was back then. Word from another insider is that Kanye's been keeping tabs on Diddy for a while, staying plugged into the scene. This isn't just about the Cassie incident, which was bad enough on its own. Diddy caught major heat after Cassie's lawsuit, and even though he thought settling it would make things better, it actually made things worse. Now, six more women and a man have stepped up to sue him and call out his inappropriate behavior. Well, Suge Knight just confirmed Kanye's claims, hinting that Diddy got paid millions of dollars by the feds in exchange for being an informant for them. Everybody's talking about puppy. For the most part of it is this. He had a good one. He had a great one. There's a lot of things that he would be knowing every person gets judged differently. Shouldn't be a gray area when it comes to doing something right, doing something positive, or being about the community. That being said, actually, possibly being an FBI in the form of whatever, that's what he would say. That's why. It's different when it comes to him. So all this, who get hurt? All of a sudden, people are saying, puppy, puppy, puppy. I think they shouldn't all blame everything on puppy. The sex is that the, in the industry knew about it. Everybody in his crew knew about it. The disease date knew about it. Everybody knew about it. So don't blame from him now. Like I said before, there was a girl with an assistant, but I said he, I described how he kicked her, how she said all this stuff happened. And Friday Guard and Jimmy Iveen came and talked to her and said she got to take this money and settle. The Interscope gave her the check. So that's supporting criminal activity from Interscope and Jimmy that he was doing. But now they want to bury Puffy and not bring harm or charges to anyone else. It wasn't the main reason because he was doing this to a lot of black women or mixed women or different races. So they don't think our people value him. They think our people is working. That's the big, that's the real reason. But it's not. Everybody should be treated the same. 
To be fair, it does make a lot of sense that the feds would want to have an inside source at the top of the food chain in Hollywood. Because y'all know the crazy things that these celebs have been accused of doing. Allegedly, Diddy was their inside man, and in exchange for some immunity and several million dollars, he started working as an informant for them. I don't know why you guys have he started working as an informant for Diddy. Fans left comments saying, Suge finally speaking up. Suge deserves respect for always supporting Tupac. I am here for it. I think we are going down a deep big rabbit hole here. Everyone is coming out with new allegations every day. The old saying, every dog has their day, lol, Diddy, brother love going down. And Diddy is a damn monster. He deserves every bit of what's happening to him. I don't feel sorry for this inhumane monster. This is crazy, but do y'all believe Suge's revelations about Diddy? Or do you think that he is just trying to start some drama for Tupac? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Then check out this next video.